What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fishing with Norby. In the shop today because I'm about to upgrade my live scope unit. You guys have been seeing how much I've been using it. Well, I have a 10 inch. I'm gonna be selling it, but I'm upgrading it to a GPS map 1222. Going from a 10 inch echo map to a 12 inch. And I am also installing a three foot folding mount made by Cornfield Gear. And I got this mount because you guys know I do a ton of bass fishing and it folds down just like your trolling motor. It's got a little thing where it rests the mount on the ground just like your trolling motor, rides the waves, doesn't bounce. So I'm super excited to get this installed. This is gonna be a quick installation video, show you guys how I do it. And I know LiveScope's getting super popular. This is a do-it-yourself video, real quick, how to install Garmin LiveScope with a folding LiveScope mount. So both this unit and this mount are linked down below. You guys can check them out if this is something you're interested in, but let's get started. All right, we just took the Garmin off. We have the bracket installed on this folding mount. It, it leans forward, but it folds back. So be sure wherever you're installing it, you kind of lean it and test out where it's gonna sit. So in this case, when I fold it down, it's gonna sit right here at the edge of my my pedal there but it's gonna hang up a little bit so it won't mess with any of my rods and it'll go right there so that's where I'm gonna put it I'm gonna drill some holes in the boat and we're gonna mount it with this cornfield mount you have to remove the bottom pin there where the piston is and that way you can get to that screw hole otherwise it's blocked in by where this bends down but that's where they had to put it because it's in the way everywhere else I'm going to video for you guys. All you got to do, break that loose, pop out this little clip that's holding the piston, just like that. And then you take the screw out, just like that. Piston comes out. It's not hard to do at all. All right, next we loosen up this one, and that allows this base to spin, just like that. And then we're going to drill us our pilot holes right here is where I'm going right where it was and I already got one hole there so we're just going to use that alright now that we got our base off we're going to go ahead and connect the piston one back up and then we're going to mount it and then you mount the top part back on and make sure you have a good sized allen wrench uh, you'll need a good sized one to take off that middle section but it's gonna be sweet. I'm excited. Tighten this back up just like that. And drill our pilot holes, screw it in. And what's nice about this mount is you can move it around, angle it different ways, and it'll still fold down. So that's something sweet. If you want a little bit of an angle, which I do it right there and then it's going to be perfect for my viewing and you just tighten it down right there <clears throat> the ice. drop my drill good thing we're done drilling it fell on the drill bit all right we just got this mount in place you pull out this little knob turn it to the side and look at that mount fold right where it's going to be uh, that's amazing and the little uh, rod smasher I call them <laughs> the mount that's going to hold it up goes on that side now we just got to cut it off where it's supposed to be and put the graph on it this is super simple all right so when you're installing this little uh, bar that, that keeps it from moving this little pin right here when you pull it out it's free to move but the height you want your bar at, your support bar, this pin should close. And it closes right now, it's locked in place, it can't move while I'm driving and bouncing. It's awesome. Okay guys, the mount is up, it is installed, check it out. And I'll be twisting it up, won't strain my neck looking down at it. That's going to be amazing, that's what we want right there. I can tighten it up, keep it on that setting, and just pull out. This little lever right here, twist it a quarter turn, put it just like that. Graph folds all the way down, 
and I'll be able to see over it when I'm running. We're gonna now hook up the wires. I gotta feed me a little more. We're gonna take off this front plate and we're done. All right, here's the close up view of the cornfield mount. Check it out. Pop the graph up, all you do, lift that out, pull it up, locks into place. Make sure you twist that pin back so it locks in. There you have it, we're ready to go. Simple as that, love it. So that's super sturdy mount. We're gonna be able to look at live scope a lot easier while we're fishing, especially bass fishing. And then I wanna get up and run somewhere. I literally just go like that and we're ready to run somewhere. So I pull the trolling motor up, pop my graph down and go. And I'll be able to see you right over the deck. Super nice, I'm excited. So make sure you check out this mount. It's linked below, like I said. This is Cornfield Gear. They make double, triple mounts, I believe. They make really good mounts and they're super sturdy. So they, they hold two 12 inch, two 16 inch graphs. I mean, big units. So they're super high quality, big, big hardware on them. But we're gonna get out there. We're gonna be making some live scope videos. I hope you're excited. Let me know what you thought about this video and if you liked it, but I can't wait to make some more for you. So make sure you're subscribed. And again, we'll catch you next time here on Fishing with Norby.